again, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back, and welcome back. I will tell you right now, Danny B. Grimson is in a happy, happy mood. And I hope you guys are excited for this. Because you're a uh, neighborhood smoker, bad mouthing a hole at times. Try to keep it a little clean. But. I got a little surprise for you guys. Now, I told you that we we're gonna be getting a tuner kit. Now, I don't know if any of you maybe tried to guess, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This video here, we're gonna be doing a couple of things here and there. Mostly, we're gonna be trying to do some tuning uh, so that we can get the truck started properly and we can get it to run correctly. So let me show you guys, all right? Before I do show you all, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of cool stuff going on. And uh, right now is uh, basically uh, basically a downtime. We're gonna do some tuning. I got gauges to put in. A little bit of hoses that need to be run. Nothing too crazy. So uh, let's get started, all right? Hit that thumbs up if you like these videos. And uh, leave your comments down below at the end if uh, there's anything that you might be interested in seeing once we get everything tuned, all right? Side panel off 
uh, to install my um, air to fuel ratio gauge and my 60 PSI boost gauge. Yes, I did say 60 PSI. Um, safe than sorry. I know it's overkill, but I'd rather have it than not have it. Uh, probably not even going to make it up to 30 PSI. We'll, we'll try. We'll see. Um, because with you all that are new to the channel, if you subscribe now, I'm hoping for future awesomeness with this channel. We can grow a lot better. I've got an idea. Instead of actually going ahead and making, I, I am changing my ideas. This is going to be my daily and drag racing all right, plus doing a little bit of off-road, stuff like that. So, let's get started on some of this uh, tuning stuff. I am going to be getting a new battery, guys. And I also have uh, a battery relocation kit coming in so that we can run the battery from uh, the terminals from the front to the back. And we're going to set something up uh, in the rear so that there, if something happens to the front, I can go run in the back real quick and shut it off. Um, other than that, let's get started with this. Summit, thank you again. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe because we got a lot of work that we're going to be doing. I'm learning. This is my first time doing my own tune. Alright boys, so hopefully I have enough juice in here with that battery, but I got the, I don't know if you guys can see that, I got the system up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my HP tuner, and I also have my USB cord to connect to the laptop. So, I'm going to connect this, get my key, turn it to the on position. Obviously, everything is going to turn on. It's obviously doing its thing with the programming. Alright guys, so let me show you real quick. <clears throat> so this is what I ended up doing uh, once I connected to the truck. I ended up deleting my VATS. So I disabled VATS. Disabled skim. And then... What I did here was I also added um, electrical controls, two-speed fan and DC fans because I'm going to be running uh, um, manual fans, switches on that. So the ECM will um, be able to pick that up because what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end up hooking my accessories up and everything to an actual uh, relay um, so that there, it'll register correctly. Um, on, I think, regular diagnosis, we kept everything disabled, fan relay test disabled, fan high-low relay test disabled, fan clutch test relay disabled, AC relay test disabled. Um, the only thing we kept on over here for the diagnosis through system is the alternator field test. That's been set as enabled so that there the alternator will register now for fuel um i disabled my evap pump and uh my prop uh purge and kept the fuel pump test enabled now i'm going a little crazy on this so um my limiter i basically what what this does is it um uh, calibrates of the fuel sensor and uh, so what I did was originally this was set at 112 miles an hour um, I'm gonna go a little nuts you guys can call me crazy but uh, I set it at 200 miles per hour on the speed limiter uh, we are going to be getting a set of different uh, wheels and tires and doing the suspension on this truck as well so um, when it comes to 
diagnosing the engine, all right, um, as you can see, everything here I have not touched. But when it comes to the DTCs, what I did here was <clears throat> I went down and disabled my transmission controller for the MIL request. MI MIL requests. Um, reason for being is because I don't want to use too much of the transmission. I want to be able to get it to function correctly from what someone was telling me was just to disable it for the time being so that it's at least drivable. Uh, unfortunately, because of uh, fuel issues and enrichment um, due to uh, not able, not being able to adjust the fuel regulator, uh, we're not going to be able to drive the truck yet. Um, and I also deleted uh, my no cluster bus messages. So those are both disabled and my no CDCs. Uh, TMC PCM messages have been disabled as well. Two days now, I've been fiddling around with the HP tuners. Um, I don't want to uh, give you guys any idea because I'm still extremely new to it. Um, I will show you a better version uh, once I get acclimated with it. Um, and the reason for that being is because we are going to be taking this truck to Jay Mills uh, Tuning over in Franklin, uh, Franklinton, North Carolina. And uh, he's going to be hopefully showing me how to use the HP tuners properly. And then we're also going to be dyno tuning. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Right now, I've been taking care of uh, the exhaust, and uh, I've got to situate my O2 sensors, and I'm also taking care of my gauges and where I need to put them. So, what's going to happen is, instead of me giving you guys bad advice on the HP tuners and what to shut off and everything, I did what I needed to do in order for the truck to at least start and run. And which it does, uh, you guys saw. Um, I tried to do adjustment with the fuel regulator, but um, for some apparent reason, it's just not wanting to work correctly with the fuel injectors. And I'm thinking it's because I have something that's not right in the fuel system itself for the computer. I am bringing this truck over to J Mills Tuning. Uh, so... We can get her all set up and then and hopefully the next video will be doing that and also showing you what he's done with the HP tuner and we'll go from there. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. This is my first time doing the HP tuners, my first time doing a twin turbo kit. So, yeah, I know I said we were going to take care of it ourselves, but to be on the safe side and to make sure that the engine is running correctly, we are at the same time getting it dynoed as well. So real quick, another thing before we start heading out is uh, we're going to be taking care of this gauge pod. So what I did was I took the panel, like I said from earlier, I took the panel off and I just fabricated a couple of holes in it so I could feed the wires and whatever. And now what I'm going to do is you can see I have a couple of lines here already measured out where it needs to sit. Alright, and then I have self-tapping screws here. Basically. 
correctly. Get it to correct way. It's not the same color as the panel, but who cares? Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this number and put the bolts in that you can see. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, but yeah, if you guys can see the holes there so that when I put the, pet, uh, the gauges in, they can feed correctly and not have any clearance issues. So, all right, we're going to get started on this and uh, yeah, we'll get the end results. All right, boys, I got the pillar on. What I did was I took the self-tapping screws on each side. Go. Now I got my gauges over here, my lemon heads, and I'm contemplating whether I want to do boost up top. Or boost on, I think I might do the boost on the bottom and then fuel, air to fuel ratio on top. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, share these videos. Um, as soon as we get it, uh, you know. And dinos and everything like that. It's gonna be off to the track to see what we can do about going after some uh, Corvettes and Chargers and I don't know, maybe Lambos. We'll see. But uh, yeah, subscribe. Later, guys.